You know, I did everything here in this rec center, so I didn't have to be on the streets. If I was to do the streets, it was my decision to do that. Long before the dream became real, before the moments that you'll remember forever, started here, around the way, with hard work, sacrifice, dedication, and a little luck, they made it out. My first grade teacher told me, and, and this sounds crazy, my first grade teacher told me I'd be nothing but another nigga. I didn't even know what the word nigga meant when I was five years old. You know what I mean? Like, and as I, as I got older, I subconsciously started to believe that when I understood what people thought about niggas. You know what I mean? The relationship between the rap star, the trap star, and the hooper, it's nothing new. Whether in the booth, on the court, or on the ave, it all begins in the neighborhood. Never traveled outside of Fresno until I was really 27. There's probably more better athletes in prison than there are in the NBA. That's just a fact. Yeah, actually, um, all the guys that came up with me, you know, um, they actually did. You know, when Zoe passed during the finals, like, I was fucked up. Kids these days, this generation, have both feet in. They got one foot, you know, in the streets, so to speak, and one foot, you know, want to be an athlete, you know, or hooper. To the ones that made it, but don't want to forget where they came from, Everybody always in my neighborhood was like, come on, G, you got all that talent, man, stop, because you know I've been shot like 13 times. I think that people see us as like superheroes. Man. Like we deal with family, family things too. Everybody's your best friend when you plan for Golden State, everybody's your best friend or whatever, but sometimes when you go through certain stuff, people, you know, uh, have different motives and different changes, so, uh, you know, I had to learn that real fast. That energy is different. Uh, you know, I tell kids all the time, you're gonna have to learn how to say no. You know, coming up, being a first round pick, you know, I had all types of people who I would walk past all the time and, and you know, all of a sudden now, you know, they related to me or, you know, they want something or they want to be around me, so. From the ones who never made it. It's, it's a sad story. I mean, because Cam was like a big buddy. I looked up to him. He was like three, four years older than me. And, you know, I wanted to be like him. You know, got to, you know, wrong with the wrong people. You know, he was six, seven, smooth with shoot. Definitely should have been in the league, but you know, should have. To those who kept it too real. It's always that element of like being famous. You know what I'm saying? And like celebrity and being recognized and acknowledgement. You know what I mean? I'm not a big fan of the ones that think they still need to keep it hood, because you don't, you know? A lot of people die for trying to keep it real. You know what I mean? Like fuck keeping it real, right? Like be real to your family. Be real to your loved ones. You know? It's trouble when the back up there try to become too adult in their life. I don't even know how to separate them. Yeah, I'm cool with those guys. They show me love. I show them love when I see them. And, and keep moving that to that though. I ain't trying to be in the world and trying to portray no super tough guy. I play basketball. I hoop for a living. Suffering from survivor's remorse? From dumb. Yeah, you walk into the place, I got federal badges and all that. That's just from numb. I did everything I was supposed to do. Al proved why I'm in New York. My wife and them driving me crazy. And most importantly, corporate America and the media's involvement. There are people who benefited from the history of our country in ways which is why privilege has been a, a buzzword now for several years, because especially white privilege, but there are different kinds of privilege that are oftentimes invisible to the privileged person. How much music means to Kevin and uh, you know, he's got some stuff on the low. And it's really amazing. I just, you know, I wonder if he's concerned about being scrutinized for it, being such a, you know, scrutinized NBA player. And, and sometimes it gets to a point where it's unhealthy because there has to be content. There has to be content every day. So things that are not big deals get turned into big deals. And then there's this, like, you know, discussion about them uh, that can be toxic. We explore the mentality that has saved a few but destroyed many more. If I wasn't in the rap game, I'd probably have a key knee deep in the crack game because the streets is a short stop. Either you're slinging crack rock or you got a wicked jump shot. I'm focused, man. Tell Stout to holler at me, man. Uh.